Welcome to Park Bench Interviews, hosted by Randy Goodman, Harvey Callis Real Estate, your real estate professional. Get to know our community, our businesses, products, and services that will elevate your life. Please welcome your hostess, Randy Goodman. Good morning, everyone. It's Randy Goodman here from Harvey Callis Real Estate, and I am so thrilled to have my queen here, Svetlana Ratnikova. I have to say this properly. <laughs> I've got the Russian blood in me and still. <laughs> I, love, I love you, sweetheart. You are such a pillar in the community and I want to hear all about you, but tell us a little bit about what you do right now. Uh, immigrant Women in Business, uh, it's my nonprofit uh, that I'm leading uh, the way, uh, leading uh, to inspire. Uh, the whole um, premise of uh, the organization is to uh, help women to succeed in business, uh, specifically immigrants, because they relate to my story, because I'm an immigrant. Uh, I'm an economist as well. So for me, I understand the blood for the economy is a small business. It's uh, individuals stepping up, uh, taking responsibility, finding their passion, creating the product and service which is on value to people and uh, growing their enterprises. So from uh, different directions of my life and mindset and understanding how the, the economy, the business uh, works, and the most important human being, uh, happiness. It comes from uh, happiness and happiness is doing something what you love doing and helping others and progressing right uh, which has a lot to do with obviously producing results that ties in right into into the business so uh, organization uh, um, helps number one uh, to inspire we have about 40 percent of attendees of our events or webinars uh, they're looking for something, uh, but they're struggling. They're, okay, what, what am I looking for? So I'm not happy where I am. What is that should I do? Uh, a lot of them, they have their dreams. Uh, uh, a lot of them, they're looking for the right mentors uh, who can just uh, get the ideas from. I mean, what should I do uh, to create the future uh, of uh, prosperity and freedom, right, in this country. Um, yes, and a lot of people, they come to scale, obviously. We, we do uh, uh, multicultural uh, referrals, right? right? So a lot of uh, businesses, they come as solopreneurs and they're looking for the ways to scale their business. Right, and right. through uh, a lot of networking, that's what we do. Uh, I would say um, positive-minded, spiritual, and giving type of networking. Uh, uh, it allows people to exchange referrals, to open contacts, to sell their products and services to different countries, which I find today in the global economy is essential, right? And that would be um, our strength as well to lead with diversity here in Canada. So yeah. immigrants, they become Canadian, let's put it this way, <laughs> but that we don't have those issue that immigrants, they bring their little India and Russia and get stuck with that, with certain great stuff, but at the same time with a lot of issues, right? Like basic right. human rights. Um, uh, and uh, export is huge in our organization, right? I mean, we always teach people that Canadian flag, Canadian leaders, Canadian products, they're great products to sell to other countries, right? right. Mm -hmm. And it's a global economy, it's e-commerce, uh, it makes a lot of sense, right? I mean, that's uh, kind of uh, still ingrained in relationship marketing as a form of uh, business, business, business is building relationship. Uh, we just uh, lead with uh, that type of form of building relationship, the ingrained kindness. It must be giving spirit. Uh, sometimes people, they hear about it, but they're not executing it, even though I strongly believe that each and every person has a massive network and massive amount of resources, is just to execute, to give, and start uh, this process in action, helping other people. And this what I find that's very interesting, uh, how people start generating leads just simply by helping others. And this right, is, right. Uh, I think it's very simple, like anything in life, basically, yeah, and in yeah, business, yeah. it's pretty simple. If you execute those simple things, uh, uh, things are going uh, good. Absolutely. So Svetlana, you do some absolutely incredible things, especially for 
immigrants and it's it, you know i think that was really needed probably for a really really long time so thank you for putting that together where you know you're really bringing people together in different cultures together so that they can mingle with each other and learn about each other and not be stuck in that one little world like you were saying you know when they come here they tend to flock to themselves because that's what they know and that's what they're comfortable with but you've created this environment where all the different cultures can come together and network with each other and do business with each other and learn that it's okay to go outside of your own culture and not necessarily become canadian but yes they have to abide by canadian rules and whatnot because they're here but they can still be respecting their own cultures and their own religions uh, at the same time that they're here because we're just one big melting pot but at the same time you've created this environment for people to get together and now you're expanding to other areas which is phenomenal and having people uh, you know basically run those areas or head those areas for you within the same organization so i love what you're growing and I know, you know, you used to do a lot of traveling for your business, you used to do a lot of, and I know you don't have to do quite as much now, but uh, you also do a lot for society and for hunger and that. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, um, absolutely. Um, so the main reason why we uh, decided to, uh, uh, come back, my husband and I, uh, we decided to come back to the marketplace is uh, to make a difference. Uh, uh, the trend is there for us, obviously, they're millennials. Uh, most of them, they want to be engaged in making a difference. So we're still business people. So if trend didn't support us, you know, we all cater everything what we do to trends because the, you, this way, if you study trends, you don't need to sell them anything, right? You're right. just basically giving them what uh, what they're looking for. We did the same with baby boomers, now the same with millennials. Uh, so you do extensive research like in any business and you come up with a um, creative uh, solution, right? So it's like any business, there's a challenge and you create the solution to fix it. The more experience you in business, the more connections you have, you earn your innovate, innovation and creativity in business. And you're able to see that you can solve the problem in a larger scale, in a more collaborative model. So um, it's really that earned uh, expertise that we were able to offer to the marketplace. That's how a new business model was born. And our through our marketing creativity, it did allow us uh, to uh, put together the platform that we know that we have an ability to end hunger in North America, right? Which often we don't talk about, about it a lot. But us as North Americans, as Canadians, we obviously, we are very giving. We love always to help people in different countries. And absolutely, it's so much needed and appreciated. Uh, but today, for so millennials, they want to fix our own problems here in Canada, right? We have 30% of our indigenous people. Look how kids, they live in our Canadian indigenous communities, right? I mean, there's 30% they have juvenile diabetes uh, because they simply don't have high nutrient-based food, right? right. I mean, uh, we found that um, uh, fixing things here, we can uh, build stronger Canada and with that uh, strong leadership and become more resourceful, we can actually help more other people in other countries, right? right. That's where our passion got born, uh, obviously because of millennials, because of the need of solving our own problems. And um, that's how a new business model of new way of giving was born. Um, and again, uh, money is always in um, not B2C, in B2B. And again, you grow into that because I deal with a lot of members, a lot of solopreneurs, uh, and I see clearly, I mean, they are you know they have their customers but to grow to the next level of b2b model you actually have to earn that right so we happen to earn through our challenges i mean we see that and we have the ability and the thanks to my husband uh he built a company sold it to such and such he has a creative business mind i don't create pro uh 
uh, pro programs he does, but through that uh, creation of those programs, like immigrant women and business, like many others, like we have now programs like social uh, uh, social impact challenge, corporate social impact challenge. Uh, we now just launched um, a digital marketing agency challenge, right? Be able to create the programs that uh, we can scale it on a massive uh, on a massive. Uh, on the massive numbers and those numbers at the end of the day, I mean, that's what uh, we call measurable uh, social impact. Uh, yes. I mean, this is, and, and this is all any programs we create. It's uh, the backbone. Uh, we feed the hungry, malnourished uh, uh, children and adults in uh, Canada and U S. It's absolutely beautiful. Svetlana. I mean, you have so much on your plate. You are growing so many different things and they're all successful and you're making such a difference on community. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and what led you to where you are today? The background is uh, a lot of doing things, right? I mean, even, uh, I mean, I love you to pieces, but for me, interviews, it's like, yeah, I mean, what can I do to help people to grow, to, uh, to get there, to see that there is a need to step up and do things, right? I guess that would be my message. The message is always doing, right? That's how we learn, by yeah. not by knowledge. Uh, we always say that it's not your PhD or MBA make you successful in business and in life. It is about your character. It is about your mental toughness. It's, it's about your ability to love people, right? It is about your massive action. And it's really that I love personally Canada so much because you don't need to be smart. You need <laughs> to just roll your sleeves and go to work. And if I, as an immigrant coming to Canada 27 years ago in adult age, didn't speak a word of English, if I can make it, certainly other people can make it, right? I mean, uh, only through determination, only through just being true to yourself. And the most important, the message to all mothers, especially immigrants' mothers, uh, immigrant mothers, you didn't come to Canada to have a job. Job you can have in, uh, in Russia, in China, and in India, probably better job with a better pay and more <laughs> security. You come to Canada to make a difference. That's what Canada is for. Canada allows you to grow to the next level of, uh, of who you are. It allows you to find who you are. What's your purpose in life, right? We live in mature, conscious, beautiful capitalism. Where actually, laws are working where you can build a business and leave a legacy. You can build a business and sell the business. And with, those, with that money, you can help a lot of other people. I mean, this is uh, my message to everybody. I mean, even my mentors often disagree with me. They say, oh, so a lot of business is for, not for, uh, for everybody. I say that's for everybody. If it's not business with money, maybe you married the rich guy, which is all good too. But open up something, nonprofit, charity, initiative, you have to be engaged in helping other people. And that's what business is all about. All my life long, I uh, built businesses. Uh, I came to Canada. I already built business in, uh, in Russia. I was one of the first entrepreneurs opening business in, in Russia. And uh, to Canada, I came 27 years ago because I faced corrupted capitalism and dealing with Russian mafia. And I always say, whatever you show, uh, they show people on TV in the real life as uh, tens or hundred times worse, right? I mean, obviously, as even you don't need to be very intelligent, but you want, I studied economics. You understand that when country goes from one type of structure to another, it's on average takes 45 years. I wasn't prepared to wait 45 years in Russia. The capitalism becomes mature, healthy, conscious, honest capitalism, right? So um, I came to Canada. I started like everybody else with a corporate simply because uh, I didn't have uh, I didn't have English skills. I didn't have right. on that level computer skills. Uh, uh, but again, my story, like everybody else's story, uh, um, when people tell me that they cannot find a job, I mean, no. I mean, you just go and go and go and get it and go tell them that I came to this country to work very hard, to give me the chance. Maybe I don't know certain things in your project, in your company, but I'm prepared to learn. I'm prepared to work 10 times harder. And none of the bosses or uh, people who run the company would tell you no. That's how I sold myself to AC Nielsen, the biggest marketing research company in the world. The guy who I 
uh, who I tracked him down. Uh, we didn't have uh, LinkedIn back then. Right on the parking lot. I had to get to him. He couldn't say no to me. He said, start tomorrow. I said, you don't need to pay me. <laughs> so basic stuff, right? But you show your passion. I mean, you do it right. for, uh, you're not doing it for yourself. Mothers, we don't do it for ourselves. We're doing it for our kids, right? Um, any mothers, if you don't step up and become the example for your kids, I mean, you, you hear it often again. Uh, my network now is very strong or positive minded. Um, but I do know that people, they go through difficult times, but uh, in the reality, change comes from us and it's up to mother to love your child and family so much to be that amazing example for them. So because uh, when you want your amazing kids, it comes from you, right? <laughs> so my, all my journey has been like that. I mean, it's driven by simply uh, simple family values, right? I want to be a uh, I want to be somewhere to be that example for my child that he excels in life, right? Otherwise, uh, how it's going to happen? So from yeah. corporate to starting my own business, uh, my own business uh, was a gift. Uh, started with my passion, like uh, most people, uh, most females, we start our businesses uh, by having emotional triggers. I simply didn't find uh, acceptable that each and every fourth female back then, 25 years ago, was diagnosed with breast cancer. And working in corporate, I lost a couple of my uh, friends, dear friends, directors in marketing research with breast cancer. And right. I was uh, thinking, like, what is that? We live in Canada. Like, how can a 35 years old lady with three kids can die from breast cancer? Right. But it always was boggling me because uh, bu bugging my mind when I came to Canada first three days uh uh i looked at people i remember sitting downtown toronto looking at people it's like this country has everything but there's a definitely lack of education on wellness and uh, you, you can tell people they're not as happy as they could be and right. they're not as healthy as they could be mm. i can tell you traveling around the world living in different countries and i was a privileged kid i lived all my life in abu dhabi in vienna in prague in budapest I've never seen not, I mean, it's just not healthy society. That's what right. shocked me. Right. I could tell that it's a beautiful society, but definitely we can do so much more. My passion for wellness was, uh, was getting in me because really I was looking at people like, I can, I can help them. I mean, this, literally you understand that that's the, the economy, the business, and at the end of the day, it is leadership, right? Leaders, they step up and do something. That's how my first business was born uh, in wellness, uh, creating the line of natural deodorants. And again, it's, uh, I'm very grateful that the product uh, had low margin. Once you have low margin, you have to go, you have to go B2B, you yeah. have to go numbers. Yes. And this is where you learn business, right? right. That's how I went from uh, retail to wholesale, to private labeling, to international distribution. It gave me the whole scope of learning the business, which is, again, it's a privilege in Canada. Um, and uh, then uh, uh, through that journey, um, I met uh, my husband, but I, before him, I always, uh, again, nobody taught me that. Today we teach people, make sure you have mentors, not one, two, right. three, four, you have coaches, not one, Two, three, four, five, yeah. ten. Never enough business advisors, coaches invest in yourself because success is here. Yes. And uh, I, what I'd like to share that mentors, 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 people, friends who have businesses, coaches, hire, invest in yourself. Yes. Uh, the success in here, in your mindset. Those people, they change people's lives. And I always uh, surrounded myself with those people. And again, when we kind of make it, like people say, oh, you made it. It's not, it's not us. It's the people who, are, uh, who helped us along the way, right? It's those people who we can surround ourselves with yes. if yes. we choose to, right? Yes. We, we, we hire mentors. We hire coaches. We pay them. We know, but this is the best investment in yourself. It'll, uh, it'll guide you directly, co correct you on the right path of your success, right? And that's really who I am. It's not who I am. It's uh, how many people helped me out along the way. Right. But I found them myself. I did clearly see right away the need when I came to this country. If I don't surround myself with those people, I'll be playing the little game. 
and I never really want to play a little game, right? Yeah. So yeah. We, we teach people to think big and to do big things. It's simply a game because it makes sense. It's basic coaching. Again, it is basic coaching. Yeah. Yeah. So you think this uh, goal like this or a huge goal, it takes exactly the same amount of time and effort. So you always have to think big, surround yourself with positive people, amazing people who you can learn from, not cheerleaders. I see that a lot of people, they're looking for cheerleaders. Yeah, right. And if you tell people the truth, I tell them right away, I'm not a cheerleader. I'll right. tell you the truth. <laughs> hey, whatever. I'll tell you the way it is. I'll tell you, your ideas suck. Okay, it has no future because of this, this, and that, right? So um, business, business, and uh, always business in my life. Uh, business, always uh, helping other people. I wouldn't do anything that... Um, uh, that's only for money. I mean, that's another thing. It's not, uh, it's not business. It's not about uh, doing something that uh, creates you income. You always have to stay on purpose, right? Not an outcome. Yes, absolutely. And purpose is always uh, doing something meaningful for people. This way, and actually only this way, you attract the right mentors in your life, the right mentors, yes. because they watch you. They yeah. want to see, are you moving fast enough? Are you really there for people? Yeah. Is your passion strong to help the humanity and people? And they watch you and then they come on board. They'll say, you, Svetlana, I'm watching you. I love who you are and what you do. Not right away. They watch you. And in a year and two, they open their connections. They open their level of expertise right. and the right valuable advice that would get you there. Uh, so the message is always start doing things, right? And do, do things for people on a massive scale. Yeah. And I think you're right. You know, it's about patience, building those relationships because it will come eventually. And I know a lot of people will give up early on because they think it's not happening. It's not happening. And you said it right there. It could take a year, two years, whatever it takes, but you just got to keep doing and doing and doing to make it happen. And you have incredible energy. And I know you'll attract a lot of people because you have incredible energy and people want to learn from you and, you know, take action with you or be more like that so that they can actually have the success that they want. And they might not and know, uh, you know, who to go after, or who to connect with. And I think you're an incredible person to be connected with, because not only will you be truthful and tell them exactly the way you think it is, but also you have the ability to connect them with the right people to actually make things happen or to help them surround themselves with the right people. So can you tell us, like, if I was, uh, you know, say a new immigrant, I'll, I'll stick with immigrants because I know that's a huge focus for you. Uh, if I'm a new immigrant or maybe I even come from a family of immigrants like I do, I'm a first generation from the Polish side. And, uh, you know, what suggestions or what can you tell them any tips, suggestions or who to connect with to help them go forward with the dreams and the goals that they have? So network, 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 uh, network, uh, just look at, uh, uh, again, it, it's not a rocket science. Make sure that the organizations, that the networking circles uh, that you're connecting with, uh, they're in your, um, they're in your like-minded uh, mindset, right? So uh, obviously, I mean, in our world between Randy and Svetlana and all the people who are around us, uh, um, it must be that uh, inspiration, positivity, kindness, you look at leaders who move fast, right? So network, network, network. I mean, people who come to this country, I mean, again, it's not what you know, it's who you know, right? I mean, that's a relationship-based country. We have capitalism here for so many years. I mean, people, we do things through uh, referrals and recommendations. It's not because it's sexy or, no, because it's easier for us. What's easier for me to hire somebody? If I call Randy, they say, uh, Randy, I mean, you run the company. Um, do, do, can you recommend me somebody for admin or for, uh, to coordinate my project? And you'll say, absolutely, Svetlana. Here's a lady. She's been with me for several years, and I'm, you know, downsizing right now. Or Beautiful. It takes me literally two minutes. So it's just, it, it's, again, people that are looking for jobs. I mean, you, you, people that are looking for, to, to start something 
all this will start with the positive minded, fast moving leaders, network, network, whether you're looking for a better job or start the business. Um, my organization attracts people, but I, again, it's how you position yourself. Again, it's marketing, me, me and you, we, we kind of on this world, obviously. But if you see any events, any announcements, anything is being posted and get uh, the message gets out there. The organization attracts positive-minded leaders, driven. In the reality, I'm selfish in this way. I don't have... Uh, time in my life me and you we have 24 hours we have to use it wisely yes and uh, our time is being given to people who already made a decision i want more something out of life right, right. so those people they come to immigrant women and business so that's why it actually has a steady growth because um we don't take it. I mean, if you're here to complain, or I can tell you uh, from experience, and you ask my members, if they come to immigrant women and business uh, events third or fourth time and keep telling that they want to do something and they're not doing it, I, t I show them the door. Right. I mean, it takes you 15 minutes to open up the company. <laughs> Where is my, I, I help them. I said, give me the brief. You don't need 87 pages business plan. Tell me what, what are you looking for? What problem are you solving? What are your values? What is your mission statement? What is your personal mission statement? What is the value proposition? It's very simple, right? But if you choose to be lazy and find excuses year after year that you want to do something and you're not doing it, that's not good. For me, it's not a good leadership. So, and immigrants who come to our organization, they do know that, but they come already with that mindset. The message is nice and, nice and clear. Yeah. That's why we love social media and all the channels on internet, right? Because we put the message right out there. The organization invites those people. They might be not in that stage of mind, and a lot of them, they're not. Right. But when they see this message, that the, that's what I feel that I owe as a leader to lead that way. It inspires them, right? You cannot buy inspiration. When they see that, and they see that other people, they do positive uh, stuff, right? Yeah. They, they come and they say, oh, you know what? I've never even thought to open the business, but I really like what, what you do. They have no idea what we do. Right. But it puts smiles <laughs> on people's faces, right? They said, it makes me feel good. And they start want to do something, right? Because maybe they didn't come from uh, challenging worlds or uh, uh, parents who had business background. They had no idea. I mean, they kind of lived their life like a lot of people, yeah. having jobs and uh, live in fear to lose, to lose the job that they hate. They go one paycheck to another. But I don't believe that any mother in the world, especially immigrants, they uh, want to. Uh, they don't want to be an uh, amazing example for their kids. And that amazingness, it comes with the uh, challenge, taking the risk, yes. doing uh, bigger things, being in great and helping other people. It uh, gets into the business world. So I really wanted to get this message to people. Uh, yeah, step up. And maybe, so that's why a lot of business leaders, they like to join the organization because it's a third party, right? right. Um, we give them kindness. We give them, again, it's not what you tell them directly. No, likes to be, no one likes to be sold when I tell you. Right. Immigrants, they're actually okay, but still most of them, they cannot take direct conversation. We tell them, okay, so do you like your job? No, I hate my job. Do you live in fear to lose the job? Yes. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, why, why do you do that? But again, the majority of the people, they're not prepared for this direct conversation, right? right? right. The organization is kind of the third party. So it's people, they look, they come to the events once, twice, and they, you know what? I always wanted to open my business. Uh, what would you recommend, right? And this is what we want. That's what allows people... Um, that's what allows people uh, to see that, oh, there's people from Vietnam and from Brazil. She came to this country 10 years ago. She didn't speak a word of language, uh, English, and that's where she is right now. Again, that's, you cannot buy that power of inspiration. Yes. And I think that's the form of building relationship with people. Again, nobody likes to be sold, but obviously each and every human being would like to grow, would like to be happy. I mean, would like to uh, live to give not to look at the price of the menu, don't have an alarm clock, and being so resourceful, they can help other people. Right. All the people that want to do it, it's for us, for leaders, to build that bridge so people are comfortable. So, yeah, they can 
start the conversation with us. And that's what's happening with immigrant women in business. And I, uh, obviously I learned it through uh, being a very direct with people. But again, this is a nonprofit, right? So that's why I lead with compassion, even though sometimes I just wanna <laughs> say no, I mean, just go do it. But I mean, again, people come from different walks of life. I believe that we owe to them to, uh, uh, to, um, to show that relationship process building uh, with that art of creativity, right? So Absolutely. it gets people comfortable. They feel good. Uh, not that, you know, what are you telling me? That I, um, I have the job that I hate. I mean, I know that already, right? Nobody wants yeah. to be attacked like that. But obviously everybody wants to be led in a nurturing way to yeah. the better way of living. Yeah, a respectful way, but one that says, you know, what are you doing sitting there doing nothing, basically, you know, knock, knock, let's take some action. And it might take them one, two or three times coming to your network and learning about, you know, what people are doing, what they should be doing, and if they really want to make a difference or take action on whatever it is they're looking for or, or wanting to achieve that it's not going to happen without surrounding yourself with the right people and actually taking the steps to make the process go forward. So I love that you have a community built of people who are already in those positions, but also opening the door to allow the new people to come in and learn from that. And even if they are a little afraid or it's not their personality, uh, you know, you have a completely opposite personality to someone who might be timid or meek or whatnot or afraid to take steps. You have a completely opposite personality, but you've surrounded yourself by an incredible network of people who can support others in helping them to take those steps in order to step out of that comfort zone I'll call it and make, you know, take action and be able to know what are the proper steps for me to take, you know, in order to go forward. And you, like you said, it only takes a few minutes online to open up a corporation or a sole proprietorship or whatnot. You know, it just takes a few minutes, but they don't know what they don't know. And surrounding yourself with you guys and your incredible uh, network of people can actually help people go forward. And I know there's a lot of immigrants listening to this interview and really taking on some important uh, pointers from you, Svetlana. So where can they get a hold of you? Because I think it's really crucial that they're able to find your group. And I've been to your group a few times. I absolutely love it. I support you from here till the end of the earth because I absolutely love what you've built and created. Tell us again, what's the website? And we'll have all kinds of other links and stuff on the page for them as well. Immigrantwomenandbusiness.com is the website. All our activities on our calendar, right on top, upcoming uh, activities and events. Uh, Facebook as well, Immigrant Women and Business uh, uh, business page. If uh, people go to events, uh, all the events and activities, they'll be listed there. Um, uh, people who are already have, uh, um, they're fired up already and ready to have business conversation, uh, uh, call me directly, 416-824-0015. I always find time for leaders. I always time, uh, find time to help people in any shape and form. We work with different shelters. We work with different organizations. If I won't be able to help you directly right away, I'll connect you to other people who specialize in leadership and marketing, in sales, in uh, export, uh, and they're all beautiful people. They join the organization for one and only reason, because they want to help. I don't care how much money they have. I wanted to see if they're resourceful. A lot of them, they made it already. And that's the beauty of the organization. A lot of people, they join the organization because they want to help others, but they have, uh, uh, they're, they're very well off. So those people that in tremendous value to people. And again, I'll close with that. That it's very uh, pleasure to be in the marketplace to work with leaders today. And I find that female leadership uh, is very strong and collaborative leadership is being led by females. And it's not easy to do. 
because we obviously grow, we have our egos, our accomplishments. And for us, for females to work collaboratively, um, it's just so much more impactful, right? And I'd like to thank you because, I mean, you're obviously reaching out uh, for the reason to help other people. And I love it and I appreciate you. I know that you're my sister from another mother. I always introduce you that you're holding uh, north part of Toronto. This is my sister who holds the network there to lead, to empower, and to inspire. Uh, thank you so much. And I look forward to uh, uh, make a world a better place together. Well, thank you, Svetlana. I have a huge amount of respect for you. I'm honored that you were able to come on and show you shared some really incredible information that it will be of huge value to the people who are listening. So thank you so much for that. I love what you've built. I love you as a person. And I love your directness because I'm the same way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and people don't always resonate with that, but that's okay, <laughs> right? <laughs> but I love it. Love your energy. I know everybody's going to love it as well. You have some incredible causes that you help, you know, the hungry and whatnot. So yes, so for whatever reason, people, even if you're not in business and you just want to make a difference in the world, connect with Svetlana. You don't necessarily have to go to the business event, but you know, if you want to help hungry children, help hungry people, uh, you know, making that huge difference, please connect with her. We will have all the links for you guys on this page. And thank you so much, Svetlana. Thank you, Randy. Big hug to you. <laughs> hug. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> okay, awesome. Awesome. Thank you for listening to this interview hosted by Randy Goodman. We hope you will take action and connect with the incredible business people and leaders in our community. And remember, Randy is always here to answer any questions you have regarding your real estate needs. Be sure to register on the website and stay up to date on what's happening in your area at parkbench.com slash millpond.